Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This video is for subject ECM 366 This video is the second part for the taking off for the foundation In previous video, we have solved for the concrete and also for the reinforcement for pad footing So for this video, we are going to continue with the solution for the ties If you look at the diagram here the ties is provided here T20 and this is the diagram for the ties to understand more on the ties so we need to take a look on this 3D, 3D diagram for the ties so as you can see here so this is the ties for this pet footing so the shape of the ties is square and it is made of four sides so basically ties is similar to the stirrup for the beam that we have learned previously and normally for the ties uh, similar to the stirrup it will have two anchorage so the line for the anchorages depends on the what type of steel that we use either 12d or 15d Okay, so first we are going to determine the length for a side of the ties. Okay, so let's say this is uh, the side of the ties. And then we can determine the length. Here is 1500. So you need to minus with cover so minus with 60 because based on the question one cover equal to 30 mm so to cover it will be 60 and then you need to times with 4 because just now we know that the shape of the ties it is four side so that's why you multiply with 4 and then you need to plus with two anchorage so because here you know your ties is made from high tensile steel because the symbol is t so and one anchorage will be 15d okay so one anchorage will be 15d whereby your d here it will be 20 mm so you will get the total length for one ties so as you can see here in the solution the length 1.5 you minus with 2 cover and then you multiply with 4 sides and then you plus with 2 anchorages right so for your ties it will be 6. 36 meter of T20 Next we are going to solve for the stump The reinforcement of the stump So at the time sink here 1 slash 4 so 1 is referred to number of stump you only have one stump and then 4 is the number of reinforcement inside of the stump so it is 4 you can see inside of the diagram right so here it mentioned the ties is sorry the reinforcement for the stump is made from 4 t16 meaning that you have four number of reinforcement inside of your stump and if you can see inside of the cross section here so you can see the four number of reinforcement right so now we are going to determine the length for one reinforcement inside of the stump so let's say we want to calculate of the reinforcement here only one Okay. So 
so first we can determine this length here so provided you have 1800 the dimension so you need to minus with the cover here this is the cover the cover will be 30 mm and then if you notice this reinforcement of the stump is sit on top of the reinforcement of pet footing okay so for pet footing the diameter diameter of reinforcement is 20 so let's say i zoom up here this is the x direction of reinforcement of pet footing so diameter is 20 and then you will have another y direction so the similar diameter will be 20 and then your reinforcement for the stump is on top of the reinforcement of pet footing so 1500 you need to minus with cover which is 30 and you need to minus with the diameter of the reinforcement of pet footing it will be 40 because for one is 20 you have two layer of the foundation for the foundation it will be 40 so you will get the length here after that you need to plus with the lapping here so this length you can use this formula because already provided so it will be 40 times the diameter so you know that the diameter for your reinforcement for the stump is 16 so 14 times 16 mm so that is the length for this part and the last part for the band band it will be 5.5 d because the reinforcement here the symbol is t so you know it is made from high tensile steel so the band will be 5.5 d so 5.5 times with 16 mm so after you sum up the length here the first section with the lapping and also with the band you will get the total length for one reinforcement of the stump okay so here we look back at the solution the length 1.8 you minus with cover you minus with 2t 20 and you, you plus with the laping and you plus with one band so you will get the total length for one reinforcement inside of the stump it will be 2.458 and then for the time sink is you have one stump inside of the stump you will have four number of reinforcement so total for reinforcement for the stump the length will be 9.832 meter of T16 okay so that is for the main bar for the stump next we are going to look at the stirrup inside of the stump so basically this cross section is from the question okay so this is the cross section of the stump first we are going to calculate the length of one stirrup inside of the stump so here it gives the length here is 125 
you need to minus with to cover here because you need to know the length of this side only so here is the cover you need to minus with to cover you will get this length so it will be 0 0.065 and then you need to multiply with 2 because you will get this side and also this side so it will be 0 0.13 so after that we are going to do for this side so the same thing 0 0.45 you need to minus with 2 cover and then you need to multiply with 2 side so you will get this side and another this side so after that when you combine when you sum up 0 0.13 you sum up with the 0 0.78 you will get all the four side so what's left is only the anchorage so normally we have two anchorage so it, for one anchorage it will be 12d because here you, we use arc steel the mild steel so we have to anchorage it will be 24d so 24 times d d will be h here the size of reinforcement that you use for your stirrup so it will be for the anchorage it will be 0 0.192 so when you total up 0 0.13 the horizontal side with the vertical side 0 0.78 and you plus with the anchorage you will get the total length for one stir up it will be 1.102 So you put the value that you get here one point one zero two inside of the dimension and then you need to determine number of stirrup. Right, so before you can determine number of stirrup, you need to know the, lo the location of the stirrup inside of the stump. So the stirrup will exist, start from this point. Stirrup will be located at this point up to this point. So this is the length where the stirrup will exist so in order to get this length here so you know here it will be 1800 so you need to minus with your ground beam so your ground beam will be you need to minus with 450 and then you need to minus with the cover here cover will be 30 mm and here you will have two layer of reinforcement of the fat footing so each layer is 20 mm the, the diameter of the reinforcement for the fat footing so it will be 40 mm so 1800 you minus with the ground beam 440 and you minus with the cover 30 the cover is here and you minus with the reinforcement of the pet footing which is 40 so you will get this length the length that the stirrup exists in the stump So we look back at the solution here. So length 1.8 minus with cover minus with 2 T20, the reinforcement inside of the pet footing. 
and minus with ground beam so it will be 1.28 that is the length that the stirrup exists in the stump so to determine number of stirrup we are going to use the equation length divide by spacing and don't forget to plus 1 so the length here it will be 1.28 that is the length the spacing if we refer, refer to the diagram of the question it will be 150 so just plus 1 so you will get 9.53 numbers of syrup inside of the stump so you need to round up it will be 10 so at the time saying you put 1 slash 10 1 is referring to the number of stump you only have one stump inside of the uh, based on the question and inside of the stump you will have 10 numbers of stirrup so the length of one stirrup is 1.102 so when you multiply you will get 11.02 meter of R8 so this is the for the stirrup for the stump So the next one we are going to solve for the form work. Okay. So let's say this is your pet footing. Right? So because L1 and L2 is the same, 1.5 meter and 1.5 meter. So we just take one side to calculate it for the formwork. Let's say we take this side. Okay. So we know the height of pet footing is 0 0.45. And don't forget, you will have a layer of the lean concrete. So lean concrete, it will be 0 0.05 meter. That one is for lean concrete. Alright. So formwork, we are only to calculate the area here so it will be l2 which is 1.5 multiply with the height here including the thickness of lean concrete so it will be 0 0.5 so once you get the area here you just multiply with 4 so that's why here the time sink will be 1 because you have 1 pet footing and then you have 4 is because you have 4 sides of your formwork for pet footing and then this is the L and this one is the depth so total you will get 3 meter square of sawn timber so that is for the pet footing next for the stump so if you look at the cross-section ok so this this will be 125 mm this will be 450 mm and the depth here we know that it is 900 mm because previously we have done for the concrete for the stump we, we already know the height of the stump is 900 mm so let's say we are going to solve for this side first so the area here will be 900 times 125 so it will be here 925 so the time sink will be 1 slash 2 1 is because you have 1 stump 2 is because you have 2 sides with the similar area of the formwork so it will be 0 0.113 meter cube sawn timber and then for another 2 side it will be 900 times 
450 so you will get this side of area plus with another side so the time sink is 1 slash 2 and when you total up you will get 0 0.81 meter squared of sawn timber Okay, so we have settled for the form work, for the stir up, for the reinforcement of the stump, for the ties, pet footing, the reinforcement of pet footing, and also for the concrete. Alright, so the last one is for the excavation. Okay, before we can construct. Uh, pet footing and stump basically we need to excavate the ground right so here it will be the original ground level so before you can construct this pet footing and stump you need to dig this ground up to this level okay so the total that you need to excavate is 1850 mm because they were including for the lean concrete okay so for excavation basically we have three stage so the first stage it will be the top layer right so the thickness of the top layer it will be only 150 mm and then we will have this second one excavation that less than 1.5 meter and for the last one we will have the third stage which is excavation more than 1.5 meter but less than 3 meter the reason why we need to have three stages of excavation is because of the rate is different whereby for the top layer is, is the most cheapest the second stage which is excavation less than 1.5 it will be more expensive and for the most expensive is for the third stage for the excavation more than 1.5 meter but less than 3 meter so that's why when we, are, we, we when we are going to calculate for excavation basically we need to divide into three stages because the rate of wages will be different okay so back for the figure here total depth that you need to excavate is one 1850 mm okay so the first stage let's say this is your original ground level you are going to excavate for the first stage which is for the top layer right so the depth will be 150 mm so this is for the top layer meaning that you still need to proceed with the second stage which is for the excavation less than 1.5 meter so you proceed with the second stage here so you excavate more to 1.5 meter and then after you complete with your second stage you are still need to proceed with the third stage up to this level right so you have already escaped for the top layer 150 mm and then you proceed with the second stage more to 1.5 meter So, meaning for the third stage, you only left to excavate only for 0 0.2 meter left for the third stage. 
So this is the depth for excavation. The top soil you need to excavate 450 mm. For second stage you need to proceed with 1.5 meter, and for the third stage you only need to proceed just 0.2 meter. Okay, so we look at the solution here for excavation for the top soil. So for the top soil is special whereby you just need to measure the area only. So let's say this is your pet footing. You just measure the area of your pet footing. 1.5 times 1.5. No need to consider the depth because the depth for the top soil is standard 150 mm. So enough for you to just measure the area. So meaning that for the dimension, just put 1.5 and 1.5. Then for the you proceed to the second stage. Right. So in my in the previous diagram, we know that for second stage, we need to excavate for 1.5 meter depth. So this is your L1 and L2. So the depth is 1.5 meter. So when you total up, you will get 3.375 meter cube. So different with the top soil, for the second stage, you need to measure the volume. So here you will get the volume for second stage excavation is 3.375 meter cube. And then for the last one, the third stage. Right, so based on the previous diagram, you only need to proceed just 0 0.2 meter for the third stage. So this one will be L1 and L2. So meaning that the total volume for excavation for the third stage is 0 0.45 meter cube so that is how to get the volume and the area for excavation for the topsoil the second stage and the third stage so after you complete with your taking off you can proceed with BQ so as you can see here this is the BQ So first is excavation, you have your top soil, this value is from your taking off just now. You have second stage and the third stage of excavation. So you just put back the value from your taking off. After that you proceed with the concrete. So the same thing, you just take back the value that you have calculated from your taking off. And then you have your reinforcement. So remember, for reinforcement, you need to follow the order. The biggest diameter of reinforcement comes first. And then followed by the smaller and smallest. So based on the taking off, basically for reinforcement, you will get the length. So you need to convert into kilogram. So basically, we use the formula of volume for a cylinder. Right? So y by the formula, the volume for cylinder equal to pi r squared multiplied with L. So you will get the volume. So here, if you can see, 3.14 is the pi. 0.01. 0 is basically the radius because the diameter is 20 so the radius will be 10 mm and this one it will be the length of the T20 total for the T20 that you get from your taking off so once you get the volume in order to get the mass so mass equal to volume multiply with density so you need to memorize for density for the steel it will be 7850 kilogram per 
meet the cube so once you have calculated so you will get the amount of kilogram for the t20 here so this one is for the t16 and this one for r8 and lastly for the sawn timber you just total up for the pet footing and, and for the stump so you will get 3.923 square meter for the formwork so basically the rate you can get from the supplier or in the final exam the rate, the rate will be given in the question and after you have the quantity you can multiply with the rate to get the RM here so after you sum up here you will get the total amount for the project so that's all for this lecture